what is there responsible is the SNP and other opposition parties continually trying to frustrate the Brexit process and not supporting the PM in getting the best deal possible they for want, the They want to UK. get on. They want to get on. Backbenchers well, want to get on with finding out uh, how to how to either make Brexit work or delay the process, and they want a vote on that as soon as possible. It's Theresa May who's stymieing that. Well, but it's, it's strange that the SNP want there to be a delay in the overall Brexit process, but will not allow the Prime Minister to take an extra few days to fight to finalise the deal that the, the, the Parliament will approve. The deal that was on the table in January would have been approved if it weren't for the concerns that people have, genuine concerns that people have, and I share, about the backstop. And this, as I said, the so-called Brady Amendment from a couple of weeks ago uh, signalled that the deal that was on the table, that is on the table, would gain the support of the majority of MPs. But we have to give the Prime Minister the time and, the, and, and allow her to, to take that time to make the, the appropriate uh, or get the appropriate concessions from the EU. She won't get the Bear concessions. Mind, we the know EU... that, don't we? Because the EU has said this negotiation will not be reopened. Yeah. The Irish government has, has repeated that this weekend. Simon Coveney said, no, there will not be uh, a, a reopening of the agreement. There may be some sort of codicil, but it won't have the strength of uh, the, uh, the agreement itself. But the EU have form on this. They, they will leave the, uh, any concessions down right to the wire, down to the last minute. So we have to give the Prime Minister the time to get to that decision. If we start saying now that we have to take no deal off the table or we have to delay Article 50, that takes power away from the Prime Minister's hand in these negotiations, and that would be that would be irresponsible. The British Chamber of Commerce calls this postponement unbelievable. The CBI uh, says that it's, it's piling more uncertainty on. Do you think yes. you and the government should apologise to British industry? I, th I think British industry are absolutely correct to be worried about um, uncertainty. They have, the, but the way to al alleviate that uncertainty is to support the Prime Minister and support this government in getting the best deal possible for British businesses and and people alike. The the democratic will of the people was quite clear. We are we're leaving the EU, and and what the SNP and others are doing, and they're not they're not shy about admitting that they're doing, is trying to frustrate the Brexit process. They do not want to leave the EU. That is their policy, but unfortunately, for them, the rest of the country disagree with them, and they're not respecting the democratic uh, results of previous elections uh, and referendums. David Chugat, MP. Thanks very much.